So each of these players are no strangers to one another. Everyone knows what they're in for, who they're going against, and, uh, you know, what hurdles they have to overcome. That's right, man. And I say it every time. This is it. You got to leave everything on the table. You don't want to be that player that plays and goes, you know what? I wish I'd done this or that. Just play your heart out. Do the best that you can. And I mean, yeah. a lot of these players should be very happy with the top 100 for their region. No, absolutely. This is a this is a resume builder right here, yeah. dude. This is, if, if, if anything, this is where you want to be. You want to, to say you've made it this far is uh, is absolutely incredible. And we hear shots already ringing as motors just floating over Dusty David. So I don't know how there was <laughs> something going on there. Uh, that was kind of crazy for a second. But what Chundis. else do we have here? Chandis with the first eliminations at 48 seconds into the game. Take a look at this. Tilted Towers being the most contested POI at the current moment. We talk about being your final game, change up your game plan. That's what you're seeing. Tilted is your last resort when it comes down to, hey, I got to make a big play. I need a hard, strong opener. You go Tilted. Pleasant part. Again, Arson 2K looking to come in and probably take out Detox and Apostle. He's been doing it all day. <laughs> all day. He's been doing it all day. He's even swapped up the skin. He's ready to change things up. There Detox is a here. dive box here. Detox makes the connection right there. So very nicely done for him. Looks like that's going to put him where he needs to be on Apostle. He has to He has to go all the way. He just really doesn't have a choice. He really shook Marky to his core. That's why you see him go on the back foot there. He has no builds either. He's got to hit this no scope. And Marky's actually oh, topping off. He had, he had taken a, a slurp there, just making sure he can secure this. That was a great standoff. Marky should have had that sooner, but Kyle Lester just wasn't going down without a fight. He could have actually turned that around. That was a great uh, great attempt. So the tower is quite the hot spot here. Astro, Bruz, Melside as well. Here's Astro making a little edit play right there. He's still going for a player that's inside while focusing on a player out there. Yeah, Astro makes a big mistake. Uh, a bit off more than he can chew for sure here. Melside was tempting him to come inside. Yeah, he's been landing here every single game. So for these other players kind of new coming in, they don't know the rotations he's been on. That's kind of how it is. And Zypan's ghost just walking away. That's right. right shut down. That was just <laughs> illegal. Yeah, just illegal has been having a really... But it's actually a trade. Respectable trade now. It's fair game. We've seen aggressors win in these situations, so you have to continue the pressure. That's what Melsai's trying to do. He's trying to catch this player off guard. But Boss's defense is just a little bit better. Well played. Man. And now look at all the upgrades, but listen to the Rockets. Ooh. That was really well played there. <laughs> Snap decision, but that means Bruz can also utilize that Rift to go and follow up. Rojo Not downstairs. Not to mention, I was going to say, oh, he's laughing. <laughs> he's giving them the laugh. Rojo, you're being really brave. Oh. The taunt, is it enough? It was a beautiful bait play because he had the back section open, third personing the entire build right there. And... He's got this guy down to one hit. It's a critical hit, but so is he now, right? 72 HP is not a lot to be working with in this situation. Is he gonna, Is he actually going to do this? Is this going to happen? He's no, breaking Speezy's the wrong structure, down. though. He just has to do that one rip. Wait, Speezy. Oh, no. Oh. Rojo showing how much he thought about that play with a little take the L. He does have the rift to go if he needs to rotate, but he's next to the safe circle, so he's going to be all right. Yeah, Bell's been having a tight, tight game so far. Uh, it just so far, we've seen him on that losing end of the stick, unfortunately. Just some situations not going in his favor. Shield not really there when he needs it. It's a good time to peek, though. Oh, no. Baba Bless just connects a little better. Probably upset just a little bit. Swayze taking damage from that stink bomb. Yeah, Zextro is just right in a, to his such a good position, dictating That's the pace it. of that fight for sure with the stink bombs being able to push players in the directions that he wants. Zextro smelted and they de or wait, dealt it and they <laughs> smelted. Yeah, That's the right. one. That's the one I was trying to go for. Harry over the hill here. I mean, no one's going to contest Zextro. Uh, yeah, Harry's probably listening in just a little bit there and figures, no, this is not the place I want to be. He goes Bosch. Seems like uh, action just doesn't want to let him go. He seems to continue to find himself in situations where he has to fight and fend for himself. Ooh. So far, so good. Maybe that's his uh, saving grace right there. Someone kind of third partying in on Kester here. It's actually legless. And there's another player now, Sensi Gaming, rolling up. So Kester's got to make a move. And he's trying it. He's trying it. He's making the edit plays, but Bosch is on the run. Definitely on the back foot. Another Ooh. stink bomb. A massive. 
massive chunk with the hand cannon point blank. Crazy how these guys push with no HP. They don't care. Once they have you on the back, they are going for it. There it is. He decides, all right, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you slide. You, you go ahead and pop these two minis. I'm gonna pop this entire med kit, then we try this again. There it is. All he's gotta do is put that stink bomb on him and it's gonna do some serious irreparable damage. Let's see if we can get it here. So here comes Kazer coming right back at it. The Deagle wall replacement play and the oh, shot was made. Wow. I I think that happened way too fast <laughs> for Sensi because yeah, he didn't can even, even react. It, and look at this standoff. I mean, Keenstar is back in, you know, pretty decent form. Uh, Issa doesn't know this, of course. And no, he gets another cheeky shot in. Falls into oh. his box. 104, but Issa connects. And he shuts Keenstar down. We'll take a look at this replay of Baba Bless. Looking to shut down this player. <laughs> Baba Bless. Absolutely. Diego is in a very strong and commanding position. Willing to trade here with the half shield in his inventory. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen when players find themselves in this oh. situation, they try and go all in for it. Camo nearly making a surprise play with the RPG there. Yeah, he's, he's looking to make those edits for the one pump. Camo wants to connect right here. Army Diego not making this easy though. Switching his location, moving left and right, going from you know build to build, changing uh, targets as far as what he wants to prioritize as the builds. And there it is. Camel going for the edit. That's Whoa! what we said he needed. The aggression. Camel turns the entire situation around just on 4 HP. I told you. You play that offense on someone that doesn't expect you to do so. You keep playing those mind games like that. But yeah. Aces S8 and Camel. Nico, all sharing the uh, highest elimination so far. I mean, Camo with that massive turnaround. You see he's topping off his shields right now. That's absolutely insane. We're coming down to our final 40 players remaining in this lobby. Don't forget, guys, we are at the final game. These are their final moments. This is the half in, half out circle. So you see there's a lot less effective play space for right now. It's going to make a lot of players uncomfortable. Skite here, currently the leader. You know, we, quite a bit of pressure. We've but. been lucky enough to avoid hills all like weekend long. There really hasn't been any weird hill rotation spots. This is one of the one of those frustrating games for players that are not on top right now. It's going to have a very hard time as the zone starts to move. You're in between multiple mountains. This is where players go down the fastest. Razgul putting some good pressure here with the SMG. SMG has the power to pierce through builds. Especially when Skype's being pressured by multiple players. It's a heavy AR coming from the south. I just watched in the kill feed. Camo has been eliminated. So that massive turnaround he had, he could not convert. As well, Zexro, e uh, Isa, two Titans still left alive in this game. Yeah, Sky actually one of our leading contenders. And he's under some serious pressure right here. Every point for Sky matters too. This is the difference in him making first place, second place, third place, or being knocked out. Sky doesn't want to go down here. These guys are not giving him opportunity. I see loot there. That's probably what happened. Sky might have fought for it and brought this attention to himself. Mitro looking to push some players back as well and keep the pressure up. I mean, he's look at his toolkit right now. He's got everything he needs to make it into late game, but he needs to wait for 25 players more that need to be eliminated. Mitro is he He's at a really sneaky spot. He's like in a nice low elevation cut, able to just really pressure players perfectly without bringing too much attention to himself. This low ground really playing dividends right here. It's a nice spot. I mean, look, he just he's created this small window, just peeking in small increments so people can't really laser back. He looks so safely tucked here. <laughs> <laughs> just such a nice spot. Yeah, it's it just such a, a nice spot. He's really cozy right here. Freak over there. We see Rascal and Harry trading shots. Skites there on the left with the heavy sniper rifle. Harry structure going down. Ares as well made it in to safety. And here we go. We're going to get the new safe zone. And we're going just below Tilted Towers, west, through the ravine. And again, we're going across hills, so not only that, to make rotations. the river. The river is one of those uh, areas in the map where it's natural low elevation. I'm talking extreme lows, where you have to build double the mats just to stay afloat, because those half walls will fight against you. 
uh, you know, turbo building through this, if you don't connect properly, you're going to have a frustrating time blocking shots as well. And look, you're, you're going to be right between two mountains. You take a left mountain, you take a right mountain. That's the thing, man. Play in the middle, you you're going to have to move across either way, right? It's just, this is a tough decision. You kind of have to you, you roll the dice on where you want to go, left or right, really. Or stay middle and then, you know, risk not being a winner, really. Fighting oh. from the low up. All nice while fighting play. other players as well, but Nico taking huge shots. He does have a chug. He's like, no, I have to do this now. Uh, opting to not take the chug jug just yet. He's got to get a little further ahead of the storm. No, that's a heavy AR targeting him right him. here. This is the time to heal. He's got a full commit to this heal right now, and they're not going to let him do it. Leckless dives into the one by one. Is he going to take the chug for the roll? We will find out. Doug is still on the move here. He takes it. That's interesting, especially Lake him. It takes 15 seconds to consume the chug, and most players are not going to give you that time. We have some really good players live right now. We see Boyo and Zexro. Zexro deciding that he's made it to the zone. He's just going to chill. Boyo was looking like he was trying to make his way up that mountain just a little bit. But again, we talk about where do you want to be, middle, left, or right. Everyone has a, you know, a game play of their own, a decision of their own to make here. 20 players, 23 players remain. Everyone fighting for that number Zexero 10 Zexero and Mitro spot. sitting so close to one another. Oh my gosh, just overhead if they only knew. And now look, we're going south. Mitro, probably the luckiest person right now, just according to his loadout, having a rift to go. Is he going to wait till last second? Probably will. And then land on top of this high ground inside of the next zone will be the play to make. 10 seconds left until we see this happen here. Or he can slide up just a little bit by himself some more time, then definitely land on the next uh, location. My Mitro has got a lot of plays to make. Zetro actually disengages just a little bit to get the lead on the storm here. Mitro's going to be able to get some cheap shots in if he wants. He's got a little bit of time to zone. Oh, it's Borwin. That's an impulse play. Zetro gets destroyed by Borwin. Pulsing across off the mountain, landing overhead. Such an aggressive play. Gets the payout for it. Skype goes down, Mexi as well. Just watch the kill feed light up. Tyofsky is Aries down. Aries catches Ono at the last second here to heal him before the storm takes him. He's now fighting against the storm. We're top 10, so all these players get one point, and now they fight for second and third. Boyer goes down. Players behind him. Is Farron's going to be able to win this engagement here? Nice window edit right there. He eats it. Ritz TF up, goes down. Turns on him. He's landing all these shots. Vorin is on fire as well. This is going to heal Vorin up. Nord's now taking a player on the storm line. Nord connects with all his shots. He loses track of the player he was once fighting, though, and Vorin takes him as well. Oh, no. Monster players are making these rotations, and they're not mindful. Mitro is actually up high. He's got high ground. I knew he would land himself there, but Vorin gets himself Look, a point. This is his game to win right now. He's got 400 metal. One, no Elims, though. He needs three to get a point off that, or just play for the victory royale. If Vorwin can pick up another elimination, that'll be that five points threshold. Everyone right now earns himself a point for being in top three, securing Mitro just another step closer to top five. So he's got to fight his way back into top five. Pay oh, that's a great shot top. right there. The RPG's going to bring him down just a little bit. Vorwin gets taken out by Mitro. One v one. Mitro has been in these types of situations before in the past. This is where he thrives best. Chandis with the grappler going up top. Mitro versus Chandis here. It's a low ground warrior shot right there. Three grapplers left for Chandis, and that means Mitro's got to do some heavy defense right here. He is still sitting overhead. He's got more than enough materials to take his time with his high ground and block the grappler plays. He has all the builds in the world right now. Chundis just trying oh, to play Chundis things slow. This door. He's looking for the grappler shot. He's not going to be able to make it, though. Falls oh. down. It's a little bit of fall damage. Mitro's landing. These shots are great. It's a Chundis 51. It's so close. And, and there it is. 63 coming Nicely out from done. Mitro. 30 Again. builds left. Mitro managed to secure himself a victory royale at the very end right there. Again, another victory royale. And the thing was, man, in, during these rotations, while everyone was playing low ground, Mitro does what he does, and he just took high ground, waited patiently, just beaming down shots. Has more than enough mats because no one is contesting him. He does get dropped, but 
he's ready to respond. This is, I mean, this, he's just in his element right now. Honestly, Mitro should be thankful for Vorwin's just dominant performance as far as taking out players yeah. that would have been able to contest. See who the number one player is, and that is Sky, oh, who maintains man. his lead all day long. Tucks right behind with nine points. Mitro there in third. And again, ladies and gentlemen, everyone that competed today, the top 100 for Europe, have already placed his money in this top 20 that are placing in that higher end prize pool. And take a look right now, Fnatic Motor in that 20th seed that pushes out Lodo and Vorwin. So Vorwin's uh, incredible skydive there, Crazy. enough to bump him up in the standings in the 22nd. But what a stellar day. Yeah, man, you even seen Aries up there. We get to touch with him. He ended up just shy of the top 10 as well. This has been a crazy week, so 